Another way to retouch color is with the color replacement tool. This tool is similar to the replace color command. It allows you to adjust color values, but it's unique because the changes can be applied using brush strokes. This gives more flexibility as to where and how much color is changed. The steps that you'll follow to use the color replacement tool are to make a copy of the background layer so that we're practicing non-destructive editing. Then you'll make a selection of the area you want to change or not. It really depends on the image and I'll show you two different examples of how that would work or maybe not work. Um, once you're ready to paint over the image, you're going to choose a foreground color. And so in the example on the slide here, if I wanted to paint with the more red purple, um, that's in the foreground position and that's the color that I'll be painting with. Uh, you'll choose the color replacement tool from the tools panel and then you can begin to paint over the image. And so if you look at this example of the pink Cadillac, and do you think it's pink Cadillac? I don't know. I think it is a Cadillac. I, it's pink. I think it's older than I am, so I'm going to go with pink Cadillac, and if it's not, I apologize. And so I have this image of a pink Cadillac, and for some reason I don't want it to be pink, I want it to be bright orange. And so in order to change the color of it, I've made a selection of just the pink area in the image, and then I've changed the foreground color via the color picker, so I double click on the foreground color, and I change it to this kind of obnoxious orange color, but that's the color that I want my... Uh, pink Cadillac to be. I want it to be an orange Cadillac. Once you have made the selection and you've switched to the color replacement tool, you can begin to paint over your car. And you can just kind of paint it really fast if you have a selection because you can't affect anything outside of the selection. You can also change your brush to be a hard brush or a soft brush. You can have different width or diameter brushes. You can change the texture of the brush that you're applying. In this case, I just want to change all of the pink to be orange. And so I just painted over it constantly until it all changed to be the color orange. Another example of how you might use this is without a selection. And in this example here, I wanted to paint over my flowers. And I decided that instead of making a selection, I was just going to paint over the entire image and kind of see what happens. When you're painting with the color replacement tool, there are four mode options that you should be aware of. They're located at the top of your screen along the options bar. And by default, you'll be changing the hue, which in my opinion is the one that you'll use most often. So I find myself using hue and color most often, and out of those two, I usually use hue instead of color. The four options you have are hue, saturation, color, and luminosity. And you can see that I have my original image up here with green leaves and a peachy, corally flower. And I've painted over it with bright purple. And the hue replaces the color in the image, but it doesn't kind of wash it out and make it all purple. Um, areas with more color, like the pink, um, have become a bright purple color. And areas that were darker in the image have become a dark purple color. The saturation changes the intensity of the color, and so if you paint over the image with a more saturated color, you're going to deepen the color in the picture, and if you brush over the area with a less saturated color, you're going to lighten the image. The color kind of washes out the entire image and makes it all purple, and so you can see that the purple has been applied equally in the dark areas and the lighter, brighter areas. And then luminosity affects the image similar to the way that saturation affects the image. And so if you paint over the image, you're not changing the color, you're changing the brightness of the image or the luminosity of the image based on the color or the luminosity of the color that you've chosen. And so if we compare, I did this with two colors, if we compare purple to teal, you can see it gives a different effect in different areas of the image based on the color that you had applied. And so if we look at the saturation one in particular, the purple that we chose was a much more saturated, see how far over on the right hand side of the color picker it is, it's a much more saturated purple and so you can see that the image got brighter, it became more intense or more saturated with color. But the, the teal, I almost said gray, the teal that we chose to color this image, it's further left on the color picker so it's a less intense or less saturated um, color. And so when I painted over the image, the second column here, with the teal color, if you compare it to the original, it's a less saturated image. And so it picks up from the color that you're using. And so let's jump over to Photoshop and let's demo how this happens. So when you are working with your image in Photoshop, you want to duplicate the layer. And you can see that I've already done that. I've made a copy of my background layer. And then you can make a selection. And with the selection made, if I try to change the color of the image, the only thing that will change are the things inside. Now with the color replacement tool, if you don't make a really good selection and you're doing something like changing 
let's change this to like, I don't know, a bright blue color. And let's do color. If you brush over the image with the color replacement uh, tool with the color mode selected, you're changing all of the image, the foreground and the background. And so this selection doesn't help me limit where the changes are being applied. You'll see a harsh edge to the outside. And so if I wanted to change the color of the rows, it might be a better option not to use a selection, but to feather the edge of my brush. And so in order to change the color of the flowers, let's, let's make them blue because that will be obnoxious. Um, you need to select the color replace tool on your tools panel. And then you need to choose a mode from the drop down at the top of your screen here. And I would recommend try the hue first and if it doesn't work, try color. You're not really, for the purposes of Art 1280, ever really going to need the saturation or the luminosity option. And so the first thing I want to do is the hue because that will give me a more subtle change. And I can also change, I should have done this while I was zoomed in before, you can change the size of your brush, you can make it bigger or smaller, and you can change the hardness or the softness of your brush. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to go with a soft edge brush so that I don't have to be really careful when I'm painting on the edge of my sheet. Now my brush is probably too big, and I probably want to zoom in a little bit as you're brushing. On the duplicated layer, with the foreground color, the color that you want to paint with, so blue, you can paint. And because I have a soft edge to my brush, when I come close to the edge of the flower and the background, you can't noticeably tell too much where one starts and one stops. And so you can go through, we'll zoom out a little bit, and you can quickly paint your image and change the color of the flowers or the background or whatever the element in your image is that you want to change. Now, I'm going to quickly paint this one flower so you can see what it looks like when I change it with the hue. And then I'll choose another flower and I'll paint that with color and you'll see that it's a striking difference. With the hue, you basically get the same result you have as the original where you have a flower that looks like a flower that has kind of unique proportions to the highlights and the shadows and things like that. If I switch my brush to the color option and I try to paint the flower in the background here, you can see it's a much more intense version of what you get. You get darker, more saturated color, and it's not as natural looking. And so maybe we'll do a side by side here so you can see the two versions of the flower. You're kind of getting blown out colors here. Okay, that wraps up this video. We'll continue the next video and move on with the lecture.